Hello everybody. Today we are going to see how to add value to a list box in Oracle Forms using create group from query function or add list function. We will actually write two procedures or we can say we will use two methods to add values to a list box. The first me method where we, where we will use record group as you, as you can see we have declared a variable named my rec record group first we will check whether it is whether the record group exists in memory or not so we use a function called id null which actually returns false if the record it does exist on memory or if, and if it does not exist it returns it does not exist it returns true so if it exists we actually we will actually delete the group or else we can say we, we will remote it, remove it from the memory and we will set it to null then we will create a new record group dynamically using the create group from query function the first parameter is OTMP which can be the name can be anything A B C D X Y Z it does it doesn't matter the second parameter is the select statement where there is two field the first field which user see in front the value which user see at the form level and the second field is the database field which actually go to the database so we have used the decode statement which actually interprets W as worker and S as staff so W is the database field and it is descriptive as worker and S uh, is a database field which is descriptive as staff so if W then worker if S then staff otherwise blank now we have used the populate group function which actually returns 0 if the function succeed to populate the record group or else the insert the value in the record group it returns 0 if it succeed or any non-zero value if it doesn't succeed so if it succeed we clear the list and we use a function called populate list which actually send the parameter as uh, mcrate which is the list box item name and myrate which is the record group which actually add the value to the record group to the list box now we will go to the second method before that uh, let us clear one thing that as you see control dots mcrate control is the uh, I have name given the name of the block in which actually the list box item is placed let's uh, now this is the second method second procedure which is use we actually use the cursor an explicit cursor the SQL query is the same as in create group from query uh, one thing is different that we have used an alias name which we will by which we will call retrieve the value and add it to the list box so first one alias name is same create to DSC and second is as the name of the database field list index uh, is declared which is actually the position of the element in the list box uh, we have cleared the list as we have done in the first procedure now we have used a for loop and retrieve record from the record group using OREC and uh, we have used the add list element function and control down great with the first field which is the list box element list index is the position and m grid and dsc and m grid is the third and the fourth parameter so you increase the list index by one so that's all how we have added value to the list box